there was once a time when I slept, but that was before I started LPing. Welcome back, folks. really think you should be able to throw bodies. <laughs> Damn it! See, look what you... Well, at least you'll sleep really well now. Just, you know, forget it. You guys are fine. No one's gonna set you. Oh, hi there. What? I find you first. Hello, brother. I've had the old safe place. It was a poor design. I didn't trust it, especially in this area. Five, four, six, three. The fudge. Uh. What are you all about? What's the Seraph Industry guy doing here? Was that? Ezekiel Stan Sanders there? Zeke Sanders, yeah. I don't necessarily want to kill him yet. Oh! Where I go! Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the doc's head than what's in his locker. I can't. Yo, someone be licking off, shots! Actually, I didn't mean to kill there. Get it, man. I, I, I actually only tapped the cue. But okay. This is the spot, man. Wait, what? I don't see anyone on my radar. What the hell is going on? Who's... Oh. Oh. Someone over there. Oh, bullshit! Like, he has any idea where I am. Well, 
I feel bad. Two of you should be dead together. Beautiful. I kind of wanted to take these guys out. I didn't want to kill these guys. That's kind of cool. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. Nah. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. No, hide on this wall. You hear something? Get help! Get help! Get help! Mm. Mm. Jesus! What happened to you? make this too easy. Seems like none of you even have an idea of what you're doing there. I mean, come on. Don't mind the Togaf. Do not fear the Togaf. Come on, really? Wonder if I have a code for that. Eight two one eight. That's what I figured that was. Going with a stun gun. And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you. Do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything to dest we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. 
You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt. The shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. Uh... So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service That's and he betrayed me. my fault. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. Look. I understand your situation better than you think. I quit the force because I couldn't stand what the people in charge were doing to it. But they went to the press and told them I'd been the problem the whole time. Power always sacrifices its subordinates to save itself. But you have my word. You can get through this. I appreciate your faith in me, Mr. Jensen. And remembering that others have gone through similar events can be helpful. But is it enough? I made it my life's work to try and help people. But Humanity Front was losing people to the so-called enhancement industry every day. Those scientists were my last chance to stop the insanity and I failed. If anything, my actions helped the pro-augmentation camp. You've got to be kidding me. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've earned yourself a doctorate. You became second in command to one of the most powerful men in the country. And you still kept trying harder. You've got more spirit than most people who think they're successful. Aren't you listening? My spirit isn't the problem. It's the choices I've made that got us here. I'm a killer. Every morning when I wake up, it's oh, my first shit. thought of the day. I was involved in a plan that directly resulted in mass murder. And since then, I've been condemned to live apart from humanity. I can't even face the woman I love. I can't face I anyone. Small boy.
I'm going to cut here, folks. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.